Closed captioning of this program is brought to you by Yamaha on the water. This is my Yamaha. What kind of Yamaha are you? You know, when Barb and I come down here off the south coast of Cuba, we love to fly fish for tarpon, snook, and all the other species of fish like bonefish. But we also bring spinning rods because we like to cast for a variety of fish. Now the spinning rods that we use are a little bit heavier than what we use back home. You can see this particular rod is rated 10 to 25 pound test. And you know what? We consider this a light action rod for salt water. And we load it with 50 pound titanium braid with a large size spinning reel. And if we're fishing for fish like snook and some of the snappers, we only use a fluorocarbon leader like I've got here, around 50 to 60 pounds. But if we fish for larger fish with teeth, like uh, barracuda, we use a wire leader. Now here's some of the most popular lures to use. I'd have to say that one of the best ones to use in shallow water is this particular type of top water that you can skitter across the top. And this one's called a skitter walk. And I got a really nice jack on this fish on this trip that came up and just inhaled it. If you want to get your lure to go down below the surface, I'd say this is probably your next best bet. This is an X-Wrap, and it's quite the large one. It's about the size of 13. And this one will dive down to about five, six feet. You can see it looks like a nice silver and black back bait fish, and it'll work good for everything, including tarpon. And then the last crankbait that I want to show you is the jointed X-Wrap, and this lure will go down to about 10, 12 feet. So it's great to use in the deeper channels. And we've been experimenting with bright colors like this, and also with ones that look like mullet, and they've all worked well. Okay, so light action rod, 50 pound braid, heavy action rod, 80 pound braid. And I even had one fish that I almost spooled me and then broke me off. I have no idea what it was. Oh, I just have something on. We learned last year that when you're fishing down here off the south coast of Cuba and you're casting you know, lures that look like bait fish and you're cranking, especially when the tide is moving, very important to use heavy line and big rods. And this fish, I think if I would have had lighter line and a lighter outfit, would have got me caught in the coral. It's a really nice snapper. Oh, it's nice pink. Isn't that beautiful, color, Barb? Yeah. I wonder what it's been feeding on. Oh, you know what? Fish the size of the lures that we're using. That's what we're looking for, eh? Beautiful. Now this size fish could feed quite a few people. This is a mutton snapper. You can see it's got a, a big black dot. Look at how gorgeous he is, Barb. And he wanted that lure. He hit it right in the head because he's got the front treble in his mouth. Okay, I'm just gonna swing him around. I've got the other glove here, but hopefully you're doing a wise thing, Barb, standing back because these fish, let me tell you, fight hard. I don't know if he's gonna let me grab him. Okay. Good. What a nice snapper. Mutton snapper right here from Cuba. Isn't that a gorgeous fish? I know what you're saying. Where is he? What's he using? I want to get down there and catch snapper like that. You know, on the mainland in North America, you've got to use live bait and you have to get way out in the ocean to get fish that size. But here they're so plentiful, even in the channels, like right here where we're fishing for snook and for tarpon. So I'm going to lay him down for a minute. Hopefully he won't fly out of my hand. Can we get a picture? Yeah, oh yeah, we're going to get a picture from Barb. I'm just going to get the hook out and... Do you want another hat? Uh, this is good. No, this is perfect. Barb, isn't that a gorgeous fish? Beautiful. I mean, they're so thick. I'm going to point them towards you. Okay, you can see that. And I don't know if you can see his teeth. They have quite a few chompers in there, but they're very healthy and big and they're gorgeous colors. They're like these exotic warm water colors and they've got so much energy. You can see that he wants to go and he's going to take off like a bullet straight down to the bottom. And these are usually schooling fish, so we might hit some more in this channel. So watch him take off. You can see his spine is nice and extended. And there he goes. What a gorgeous animal, right to the bottom. 